Hello and today I'm going to show you how to do AQA practice set one uh, for the unit three higher specification. Uh, question number eight. This is from the practice set one. So we have um, a diagram showing an isosceles trapezium and an isosceles trapezium just means that these two sides here are the same length and uh, if you like you can think of this as being a symmetrical trapezium. 8a says work out the value of x. Now in any trapezium because there are a pair of parallel lines the two angles in the corner will always add up to make 180 degrees. Therefore these two angles will add up to make 180 degrees and we can do 180 take away 75 is 105 degrees. Okay, part B says work out the area of the trapezium. Now the area of a trapezium is a formula that's given to you in your formula book and it shows a little picture of a trapezium with A, B and H mentioned and it says the formula for the area is half A plus B H. You can think of the half A plus B as being the average of the two parallel sides. So here we have 10 and 14 as our values of A and B. Half of 10 plus 14, which is 24, times the height, which in this case is 7.5. Remember you can use a calculator here, so you could do 0 0.5 times 24 times 7.5, 12 times 7.5, um, which in fact makes 90. So there are a number of ways you could work that out, uh, that sum out, but the easiest one is simply typing that into a calculator. Okay, part C follows on the same concept using the same shape. It says some of the trapeziums are put together to make a regular shape. The diagram below is incomplete. How many exterior sides does the shape have? So we're imagining continuing this shape around somehow to make a closed loop. And we're going to use the exterior angle of this polygon in order to work out how many sides the shape has. Let's have a look at what angles we do know. We know from the previous whoops, example that the angle at the bottom of the trapezium is 75 degrees. So I'm just going to mark that on this diagram. 75 degrees there, 75 degrees there. Now you should be able to see that that makes the external angle that I've marked with an E a particular angle because these three need to add up to make 180. So we have 180 minus 75 minus 75, which gives 30 degrees. So the exterior angle is equal to 30 degrees. Now one thing that you need to know is that the exterior angles of any polygon always add up to 360. So the question now is how many of these 30 degrees would I need to make up 360 degrees in total? The answer to that is found by doing 360 divided by 30 which is 12. That tells me that there will be 12 exterior angles in this shape. 12 exterior angles just like this one here. So there will be 1, 2, etc. until you can count up 12. And 12 exterior angles means that there will also be 12 sides to the shape. 
and therefore I can give my answer as 12.